All right, so I wanted to add something super dope for like beginnings of videos for Goon and Jobber videos to kind of keep it uh, entertaining and keep the audience, you know, constantly interacting with the channel. I think it's dope to do that. So we're going to have something called Title Wars. Kind of started it. So basically before every Jobber or Goon video, I'm going to drop the thumbnail on the community tab. By the way, make sure to like, subscribe, comment if you haven't already. Um, and when I do that, I'm going to be like, yo name the video and you guys can try to come up with the best name for that video for today this is our test run today had a bunch of comments ended up picking the winner being oscar shout out to oscar i think now i think he had a bar here that's why i picked him he might have just accidentally dropped one but he said apocalypse horsing around with his ops horseman of apocalypse that's a bar so i had to give it to him shout out to oscar for winning but yeah if you want to see your favorite character in any of my series or on the second channel the coffee shop by the way uh discount code goku until tomorrow at midnight uh will get you 20 dollars a video so definitely hit me up on discord if you want that but anyways guys you know what it is this is apocalypse being a goon i hope you guys enjoy without further ado let's begin Alright, so first moment to talk about, or moments per se, to speak on, are the exchange between High Evolutionary. Now, real quick for some context, this High Evolutionary actually has some clout coming into this exchange. In fact, he went straight up toe-to-toe -to -toe with Galactus. That's right, so he does have that to his name. Funny enough, Galactus later says, like, yo... Uh, don't bring up the fact that we pretty much stalemated. That shit's funny, but eh. getting back to this, he and Apocalypse are an interesting dynamic because High Evolutionary believes in evolving, of course, to the highest form. So does Apocalypse, except he goes the gangster route about it. About it, like strongest one survives, bitch. And this brings these two into conflict. Evolutionary doesn't like his style. Apocalypse is like, I don't give a shit what you like. And Evolutionary blasts him. This is when we see Apocalypse laugh at that blast and he's like, let's dance, pussy. I'm not Galactus. I'm not backing down to you. They go back and forth. He actually is kind of clowning on Evolutionary. In fact, at the end, he's like, yo, I basically won. So yeah, Apocalypse basically wins the exchange. He's like, yo, Evolutionary, whether you like it or not, stupid bitch, you basically serve me and you work for my purpose. So it sucks to suck. But yeah, the fact he uh, thugged a high evolutionary with, um, you know, some credibility to his name is quite impressive. Moving on, we have his encounter with young Thor. This was unfortunate. Young Thor was drunk. Saw Apocalypse was like, yo, I don't agree with how you move. You look like a demon. Not with it, you gotta get folded. And Apocalypse is like, look, young god. I don't know who gave you the scouting report, but you don't scale to me, bitch. Don't, don't pull up. Thor steps up, big mistakes. Gets bitch slapped so hard by Apocalypse. I'm talking about one of the most humbling backhands you'll ever see. It was so bad, in fact, it was stated if Thor wasn't so drunk and like his limbs so loose from being so like messed up at that point... He would have probably died from the bitch slap. Thor gets up, gets his battle axe at the time. He doesn't have Mjolnir, pulls up on Apocalypse. Gets humbled again. Apocalypse is like, you dumb hoe. You're not going to break my armor with that weak shit. Pulls up on Thor, beats the shit out of him, and is like, yeah, bitch, don't step to me. You definitely need some upgrades and prep time before you take me out, bitch. Which was hilarious to see. Yeah, he really humbled young Thor in this moment. Now, one thing about my boy Apocalypse is rarely does he get that true 1v1 where he gets that fair square up and gets to fold you, right? Like, he, he rarely gets that. He gets the team treatment. He gets the jumpage, right? Because he's a true goon with some power to him. So, with that in mind, he gets into it with Phoenix Jean Grey. Keep in mind, the bitch has the help of the Phoenix. We know at this point in classic Marvel, she's actually... By the way, 
Classic Jean Grey is a crazy ass character. Her Dark Phoenix saga is wild. But um, she had the power to like help hold off the Dark Phoenix, all this shit. Um, stupid powerful. Gets into a mind plane brawl with Apocalypse. Starts getting folded, getting humbled real quick. Had to resort to teaming up. Had to get uh, Cyclops. Now, it's kind of crazy. It's like implied. It's a little weird, but it's like implied Cyclops is actually a stronger amp for her than um, even someone like Nate. because Nate Gray, of course, because of her, her love for him and his love for her and their connection, all that shit. But they got to jump. Like, Jean Grey Phoenix needs help against a trolling Apocalypse who called that shit cute while he fought them it was crazy to see and definitely a goon moment next we have the 1v1 against old school loki who y'all know is a beast from my doctor strange videos but getting right into this they get into the 1v1 right and they're scrapping at this point loki's talking shit loki's like dude i'm a god i come from big time asgard i've made plays i've beefed with thor i've beefed with my own father odin like I'm a real one. What's your fucking resume? Like, he's talking shit. Apocalypse is like, you stupid bitch. You might come from the skies, baby, but I'm God down here too, pussy. Pulls up, starts brawling with Loki, and drops the shit out of him. He's like, you stupid little God. He's like, you think you're so much better than anyone? But these are the trenches, dog. And you're not beating the king of evolution. And he just folds Loki, absolutely drops him, which was insane. Alright, so the next moment is, again, when he has to deal with getting jumps. By the way, run the likes up. 500 likes. I will happily do part two to this. I have plenty of moments for a part two. He, Apocalypse is one of my favorite Marvel characters ever, and I'm glad this was purchased. But anyways, getting back to this, Apocalypse is in a 2v1 versus Nate Gray, who, again, if y'all don't know, has feats of, like, scaling to Sentry who the same century that he helped stalemate galactus all that shit this nate gray was also stated to give off the biggest psionic wave on the psionic plane ever right so he, he, he's high tier magneto and nate gray are jumping um apocalypse they're talking shit and apocalypse is like damn that pulls up and is like yo nate fuck this he's like run the fair 1v1 my boy he's like you're talking all this shit you think you're that good he's like let's run the 1v1 and see what's really hood because i don't think you're that tough and i was like that's right apocalypse let them know they gotta jump you you can't talk crazy if you're jumping respect the ones but yeah not nah, definitely a goon moment from apocalypse next we have the time that basically apocalypse gets a massive hype up amp from cyclops right so apocalypse at this point he's demonstrated he's a badass like he's one of the og mutants he, he's a beast and cyclops isn't convinced that the best psionic plane feat in history will be quite enough to beat apocalypse that's right while cyclops is scheming on eventually taking down apocalypse or passing him all this he's not convinced that level of power which should scale above stuff like the phoenix force technically uh given that the phoenix force is psionic in nature he's not convinced that'll be enough to beat big apocalypse he does think like okay it'll give us a chance but he's not convinced it'll clutch the w absolute madness and definitely top tier hyping up for apocalypse next we have the time he got the drop robbed and killed a celestial w in the chat in the live premiere for that boy apocalypse so at this point um dark beast is talking about shit apocalypse has done to get some of the gear tech and amps he has and he's like yo let me tell you all the story of the trenches. So, at one point in time, Apocalypse actually lured a celestial garden to Earth because he liked his chain, killed him, and chain snatched him. That's right. Big Apocalypse literally lured in a celestial to rob his dumbass, and he pulled it off. That's wild given 
the uh, crazy power Celestials tend to have in the Marvel Universe. But again, Apocalypse doesn't care, baby. If he wants to bezel, he's robbing your dumbass. And he definitely did it at this moment. One of the most gangster moments and hype up uh, lore moments for Apocalypse. Next, we have, you know, we, when we realize how serious Apocalypse really is when he wants to be. So, this came by way of Doctor Doom talking his shit. Legendary goon himself, a tier four, uh, Doctor Doom. He's like, yo, this is the Death Seed. Now, let me tell you what the Death Seed is, dog. He's like, this Death Seed is granted by celestials and cosmic beings of that nature. And it is powerful enough to be... Com comparable to the phoenix force itself that's right dr doom himself states yeah apocalypse is using power sources and bullshit to power his like journeys that are literally basically <laughs> phoenix forest here that is insane but it makes sense given we see all the people apocalypse is willing to beef with and have successfully beefed with so yeah, shout out to Apocalypse for, not many people know that, his literal power source being compared outright to the Phoenix Force, which even Doctor Doom respects. Final moment, again, run, oh actually no, we have two left, I got a bonus moment for y'all. But again, run the lights up, uh, nonetheless. We have another epic chain snatch against one of um, Apocalypse's longtime ops, Cyclops. So, Cyclops... Uh, he pulls up on Apocalypse. He's like, oh my god, I gotta get the drop on him. Blast his bitch ass. Let me put him down. Like, puts all his power. He's like, yo, I'm gonna blast him. Let's out a massive optic beam to hit Apocalypse. Apocalypse is like, yo, I just recently kind of made mistakes. I could use some energy to correct that. Your energy would be perfect, stupid bitch. And robs Cyclops cleanly of the optic beam's energy entirely like completely drops him in front of Je phoenix jean gray which causes her to absolutely rage w in the chats for him constantly making people rage with his tactics but yeah literally chain snatches cyclops of his energy which is crazy but he casually did it to fuel himself back up to brawl with everybody now final moments um a nasty crossover he hits on an eternal so if you don't know Apocalypse is a beast with the crossovers because he has complete molecular control of his body. With that in mind, he gets into it with Icarus and Eternal, right? He sees him as an absolute uh, horror. Like he, Icarus just finds um, the things Apocalypse does in his true nature to be terrifying. He's like, yo, I got to put you down. Tries to blast him. <laughs> Apocalypse is like, stupid bitch, you're not going to hit me. Hits him with the mean crossover. Absolutely crosses his him over. Takes out um, real quick uh, Icarus by changing his body and turning his fist into like some kind of massive hammer. Rocks the shit out of Icarus. Is like, sit down, you dumbass eternal. You ain't gonna style on me, bitch. And yeah, completely crosses and sauces um, Icarus, which is hilarious. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what your favorite Apocalypse Goon moment is from the video. Again, if you want to use the discount code GOKU, it's only $20 the video right now. Expires uh, Friday at midnight. Hit me on Discord if you want it. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. It's been your boy Jivers and Goons, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.